Today's project is we're going to tear down the top of the LS and get the cam out. Hopefully, that's the uh, how far I would like to get today. Next, we'll take off the ballot pan. Good, lift it up. So that, I want to tilt it down a little bit, you know, like that. So all those solenoids, that would, that's what works the DOD system, which is what we're eliminating on this thing. So that would be a whole new valley plate uh, that doesn't have all that mumbo jumbo on it. So next step is we'll take the heads off. We have small bolts that run along the inside and the larger ones that run along the outside. To remove the head bolts that are in the, inside the head, we have to take off uh, the valve train components because basically the head bolts are right underneath this this here uh, this here uh, bracket, I guess I'll call it. So we pulled out all the rockers and stacked them over here on the bench in order, and then go ahead and pull that rail off, James. There we go. So I'll put that in the same orientation. And now we can get at those head bolts. All right, so we've got all the bolts out. We stuck the rockers back on, again, just to keep them in place where they're supposed to go. They're just on their finger tight. But now it's time to basically pull the head off. All right, so time to take the head off. Ready, James? Yep. So that there is the head gasket. Okay. Wow, I didn't realize it was so many layers. All right, there's our motor. So the cylinders look really good. Um, all the cross hatching is still on there. Uh, the pistons uh, are flat top. I was concerned that they might be dished. So this should be the higher compression um, L76 motor. We got the other head off, uh, the cylinders look good, just like the other side. And so now we're taking out the lifter trays and uh, the lifters. Okay, we'll go ahead and pull the lifter tray out. Lifters might come with it, might not, I don't know. Let's go ahead and pull up. We got two lifters on it and two lifters still in the hole. Okay, uh, here, go ahead and just put it down over here on the rig. Uh, typically we would be worried about what lifter goes in what hole, but since we're going to do a cam swap, we're getting new lifters, so it really doesn't matter. So we have the lifter buckets and the lifters out. Um, again, this is a DOD motor, which is why these lifters look way different than these lifters here. So a DOD kit will be a cam and then all new lifters, so we're not too worried about keeping track of where these things go in. All right, so our next step is to pull the cam out, which means we have to get the damper off and then that front cover. Um, so James is going to crank on that with the breaker bar, and I'm going to hold it back here on the flywheel with the uh, crowbar. Uh, let me tell you, it's really tight. <laughs> so we have the crank bolt out. This harmonic balancer is not keyed to the crankshaft according to the book. Uh, so since I'm not going to be rebuilding the bottom end of this thing, we need to get the balancer back on in the exact same spot it was on. So um, these scribe marks right here will do that so we get the rotation of the damper back on the same place. Okay. 
So the balancer is basically, basically off. So now the next thing is we took the pan off the bottom because it bolts into the front cover. So now we'll take the front cover off. And it should pull right off. Okay. All right, so let's see, that's our, that's part of the cam center, I believe. And what do we have here? We have the oil pump and timing chain. Next step is to take the oil pump off, which is right here. So the next step is to get the timing gear and chain off. It's getting a little hard to get the gear off here. Uh, I think I'm going to take the tensioner loose at least. It won't come off because it's behind the chain, but I think if I the tensioner loose will have more slack in the chain to get the gear off. So with the tensioner loose, I think it'll uh, easier to come off. Okay. Loosen it back from the cam. Out of the cam. Next step is to pull the cam retainer plate out, which is this black piece here with these four torque head screws. Be careful this O-ring on the back. You want to make sure you retain that. That's an oil passage up there. It's just a matter of pulling the cam out the front. Not to beat up the cam bearings too much. Everything's apart, top end. So now uh, I need to determine what I'm going to do for a cam because that's what I'm going to do DOD delete and a cam. I haven't talked much about the literature that I'm using to do all this. Uh, this is the book I bought, GM LS Series Engines, How to Rebuild. Uh, it's by Chris Warner. Um, really good book. It goes step by step, how to take these things apart. Again, had a lot of experience with Gen 1s, uh, but not Gen 3 and Gen 4s. This is my first, first one. And there's definitely some special things about it. They're, they're definitely not the same. Um, I highly recommend this book.